Hey everyone, so today we're going to learn about multiple regression. So as analysts, we often want to hypothesize that more than one variable explains the behavior of a variable that we're interested in. So that variable that we're seeking to explain, that's the independent variable y, and the variables that we believe explain this dependent variable are the independent variables, x1, x2, x3, etc. And so we can use multiple linear regression, which allows us to determine the effect of more than one independent variable on a particular dependent variable. So in this exercise, we're going to do something interesting. Let's suppose or say that we are considering an investment in some type of technology fund. Let's say that the technology fund in this example is called ARC. And it's an innovation ETF. It's an active equity ETF. If we look here, you can see that companies within ARC include those that rely on or benefit from the development of new products or services, technological improvements such as the dynamic revolution, industrial innovation, next generation internet, and fintech innovation. So let's say that we want to know whether this fund, this technology fund, behaves more like a growth fund or a value fund. Let's first take a look at some of the holdings. You can see that they have they hold Tesla, Square, Nvidia, Twitter. Already I'm thinking that they're going to be more growth oriented. But let's say we want to test that hypothesis. How would we go about doing that? What we could do is regress the returns of ARC on the returns of a value and a growth index. Specifically, we're going to choose the Russell 1000 growth index and regress on the one Russell 1000 value index. So without continuing any further with our null and alternative, let's actually just start pulling some data first. So what we're going to do is we're going to, just like in our other videos, we're going to use Pandas Data Reader. So we'll say from Pandas Data Reader import data, run that. And we can take our data and use the function data reader. And it takes in a few arguments. And we're going to put in arc, which is the ticker or the fund that we're looking interested in. We're going to pull this from Yahoo. And finally, the start date that we're interested in is going to be 2015 0101. And the end date will be 2018-0101. And we're, uh, we're going to initialize this or e equate this to ARKK, ARK. And let's, say, let's take a look at what this looks like. And there we go. We have pulled that data. But we want to resample this because we want monthly data. So we can easily do that. I'm just going to take our arc variable here, and we can use the resample function. Because, because this is daily prices, we would like monthly prices. So we're just going to say m for month dot last, take the last day of the month, and then I'll run that. And then what we would like to do is get percentage changes on these monthly, monthly prices. So you can see there are monthly prices, and now we just need the percentage changes. So we can use percent change like so there we go i'll just say this equals the arc and i'll just you know, output the first five rows of data there we go so we have our arc data arc returns and now we want to pull our russell the russell 1000 growth index and the russell 1000 value index data so to do that, we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to copy this. And we're just going to call this RLG. And the name of this ticker is RLG for Russell Growth. And that should work. There we go. I have the Russell information for the growth index. Now we just need the value index. Let's say this is RLV. And there we go, Russell value index. So now we need to put all this data into a dictionary, which we'll put into a pandas data frame. So we can easily do that. We can just say data equals, and this dictionary is going to be 
arc, and then we're going to take the arc data. And we want to specifically look at, at the adjusted close. Let's say ADJ close, RLG, RLG, adjusted close, and finally, RLV, adjusted close. So that should be all in the data there, like so. And now we can just import pandas as PD and say data frame equals PD dot data frame. Put in our data dictionary and we'll output our data frame here. And there it is, there's our data frame. Lastly, we can just drop these not a number of values here and just say data frame equals data frame dot drop NA, like so. So if you like this video, please subscribe. In our next video, we're going to actually state our null and alternative hypotheses and then actually run our regression. So until next time, thank you.